Hi guys, Gals and Non-Binary Pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. Bit of a change of scenery, thought I'd film outside. So in today's video, we are going to be cash stuffing for August. I do my budget quite early and in advance, just so that I can see what I'm doing and what I want to do with the money. But my income always surprises me because you guys, Gals and Non-Binary Pals, always show up and do some incredible things for me. So not only in this video have I got a little bit of extra money, I am going to do something quite unorthodox with the money as well. So I sat down the other day and I was looking at how long is it going to take me to be debt free because if you remember at the very start of my channel I gave myself a target of July 2022. Well it is July 2022 now and by my calculations I should be out of debt at this point but when I made up that plan Jake and I were still together now it's really really different but now because of that I still got quite a bit of money to pay off on my student loan so what I owe on that is £1,400. So for me, what I want to do is be really, really intentional about that. What I am going to do is I'm going to pull a little bit of money out of that pension pot so that I can put that towards my student loan. Only £100, but it is a very, very small pot as it is. Now I'm going to do that because it will feel right for me and it will make me feel like I'm actually achieving something, making myself truly, truly debt free. But when I am debt free, I can put a lot more money towards my pension and do it guilt free, if that makes sense. I know putting money towards my pension shouldn't make you feel guilty, but it does because it's a form of savings and should I really be saving if I'm debt free? I don't know, like it's different for everybody, but for me, it feels like the right thing to do. Also in this video, we are cash stuffing in two different currencies. So we've got some money to go towards Spain as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So I cannot wait to show you that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look in my gorgeous August booklet. Okay, so we are in my August exclusive, beautiful constellation themed budget booklet. This is available on my Etsy store, but stock is very, very low. So if you do want it, get your hands on it now. It also comes with free stickers. We're moving over to the Paycheck Bill Tracker page, and we're gonna start by having a look at the money. So the first thing we're gonna do is move over to income at the start. So income is gonna be a little bit different. Jake uh, is paying me 351 98 but my income was slightly more than expected so my income that i got was 1962.73 so thank you so much to everybody who has supported me with that so that comes from people who buy things from me on etsy people who support me a little bit even further on patreon but also people who watch my youtube video i got my very first youtube paycheck here it was about 200 pounds something like that and it really really helps out thank you sorry i had to stop filming because jake's mum came around and I had to say hello to her anyway moving back to income so i'm adding the extra line on here so we are going to take away from pension and i've probably already discussed it but it feels like the right thing to do to me so i'm adding an extra 100 in so that takes me, all of those added up, takes me up to 2414.71. So nothing's necessarily gonna change over here. Nothing's gonna be added or anything like that. So the numbers are basically the same. However, there's an extra 200 pounds to play with. So envelopes will stay the same as well. Sinking funds will stay the same. I'm not adding anything there. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna chuck 300 pounds to student loan and i'm putting that in there because i've already done it but because i owe so much on it i just want it to go and it will just mean a lot to me to have it gone so we're gonna do that the only thing that i do want to add and tell you about is i have drawn out my euros for spain so they cost me 102 pounds and 80 so that's done so those are the only two things i've actually already done um, with this budget but yeah let's move over to this side of the page because let's work out exactly how much i need to stuff for all of my cash categories so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to list all of my categories and then i'll come back to you in a sec and we'll figure out how we're going to break it down <music> So those are my categories all done and dusted. So 
I do have more categories than that. However, not all of them are gonna be cash. So yeah, it all works out really, really nicely. So on this side of the page, what I like to do is break down how much that I want to draw that out in cash so that I can take it to the bank and do what I need to do a bit, make sure I've got the correct denominations for myself. So let's start with spending. So for spending, I like to give myself two fives and two tens every week, and it's 30 pounds a week. So that's actually gonna be eight fives and eight tens. For groceries, it's 50 pounds a week, and I give myself two twenties and a 10 each week. So that's eight twenties and four tens. For petrol, I'm doing a 20 and a 10 each week. So it's four tens, four twenties. For household, it's 40 pounds. Uh, and then that's roughly 10 pounds a week. Well, it's exactly 10 pounds a week, actually. So that's four tens. Water's 25, so it's a 20 and a five. Car maintenance is 25, so it's a 20 and a five. 100 envelope challenge is 88 pounds. So it's gonna be four twenties, a five and three ones. And the 52 envelope challenge, I did have a plan, but I'll tell you why that plan's messed up. But this is how I drew it out. So I did five twenties, a 10, a five, and five ones. So that was 120 there. So moving down to the bottom. In terms of one pound notes, I have eight of them and that will be eight pounds. Five pound notes, I have 12 of them and that will be 60 pounds. 10 pound notes, I have 21 of those and that'll be 210. And 20 pound notes, there's 23 of them and that will be 400 and 60. So when I add all of those up together, that makes 738. So normally I would transfer that over to one of my tear off cash totals um, slips that are available on my Etsy store. But what I'm going to do this month is I'm going to transfer it to this. This is the thank you card that comes with the August exclusive. On the back, it's got a discount code for budget with us and yeah i absolutely love it but on the back of it i've included a cash total slip so i'm going to use this so really quickly it's going to be eight ones which is eight pounds it's going to be 12 fives which is 60 pounds it's going to be 21 tens which is 210 and it's going to be 23 twenties which is 460 and that makes 738. I'm going to go ahead and take this to the bank and I will see you back here in a sec. Okay I am back from the bank and we are ready to count out this money. So just going back to the slip I let the ink run all over everything. <laughs> so we should have eight pound notes which are here. Then we should have 12 fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Lovely. We should have 21 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we should have 23 twenties. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Perfect. Okay, we have got my cash envelope binder here and let's start at the start. So car maintenance will get 25. I can't stop throwing money everywhere. So today's date is the, oh, what is the date today? The 27th of the 7th, we are adding in, and we're adding in 25, which should make it 475. So let's just double check that. 51, 52, 53, 54, 50, 75, lovely. I know these uh, 50s are going out of circulation, but I've spoke to the bank and they will take them at any time. So I don't really need to worry about that. Uh, and I am looking to take them back to the bank when I get an opportunity to, but they're still giving out 50s at the moment. So they're not too worried about it. Water is gonna get 25. And this one is empty because I paid my water bill last month. So it's the 27th of the 7th and we're gonna add 25. 
which will make 25. Lovely. So that is my sinking funds done. Let's move over to groceries. So groceries is 200, so it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twenties and four tens. One, two, three, four. And that should make 200. One, two, three, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, two hundred. Lovely. Petrol is going to be four twenties, four tens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we got one, two, three, four, six, eight, 120, which is exactly what we're expecting. Spending should be eight fives, eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this should be 120. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20. Absolutely perfect. Just going to take the household money as well. So household is 40 pounds. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to put this aside because I haven't got a household envelope. It's on the back of groceries, but I'm just going to pinch this and keep it to the side ready for when I'm able to spend it. And then that is all of the cash envelopes done. All we have now is the 100 envelope challenge and the 52 envelope challenge. Okay, so here we are with my 100 envelope challenge. This is available on my Etsy store. You can get this as a physical listing or you can get it digitally. It comes free with the paper envelope challenge and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a sec. But today we are doing the 88 pounds envelope because that's the next biggest one along and it's gonna feel really good. I know I could do a load of small ones and get a sense of accomplishment that way but I think it's going to be nice to go top down and when it's just going to make it easier and easier and I think eventually I'll be able to start doing two at a time which would be absolutely lovely. Anyway when you buy the paper envelope challenge that is available on my Etsy store you get loads of different versions so when you get the digital listing you can get rainbow sprinkles you get all the classics however you also get a blank one. This year what I'm doing is I'm printing the blank one onto bits of my waist and today is no exception. Today's envelope is going to be from a bit of packaging. I bought myself an extra one of these little dice. I, I use it to store my dice. So yeah, that's what I'm using today. So I'm going to put 88 pounds into this envelope. I just need to make it a bit quick first. Okay, so for the 52 envelope challenge, this is what I'm saving up for Christmas. I want to get away and not have a Christmas in this country and just have nothing to do with Christmas. What I did is I put aside 120 pounds, so I should still have that. So it's two, four, six, eight, one, 10, 15. Yeah, 120 pounds is all there. I had planned to do the 39, 40 and 41, which makes 120. But what I'm going to do, I've already done the 41. I think I did that with the Patreon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the 40 and the 39. And then I should have 41 pounds left. So I'm going to figure out what that's going to look like. So I might be doing four envelopes here today. So let's start with the 40 pound envelope. So when you buy this on my Etsy store, you get all different designs. So we're gonna go through a couple here. This one is uh, one of my favorites. I think this one's called Holly. So if you get it digitally, you can print these off as many times as you like. They're absolute beauts. So let's do 40 pounds. Stuff it. And then I print these onto 160 GSM paper. So if you get these, printed and made or printed and just set there, uh, printed on to 160 GSM, so you don't actually need to use a bit of tape on the back. So this is a 40 envelope. Let's cross that off here and put it in here. And then we'll go ahead and do a 39 as well. So that's gonna be a 20, a 10, a five, a six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 39 there.
Okay, so we've got 41 pounds left. So I need to figure out how I can get two 20s away. Have I done, I've already done a 20. I could do 21, but then that leaves me with 20. Oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the 19 and the 21, but I'm just gonna put 20 pounds into the, the 19 one. So I'm gonna be a pound over. That's not gonna be the end of the world. So yeah, we're gonna do the 21 and the 19. So if you're anything like me when you're watching a cash stuffing video, when all the money's gone, it makes you kind of sad and like it's, it's all gone. So it makes you kind of blue. But I have got something to show you. So part of my budget has allowed me to get £110 in euros. I do this as often as I can and I definitely prefer to cash stuff in euros because then I'm saving it up nicely. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. It, for me, if I just had all of this money in a bank account, I don't think I would be able to trust myself with it. So I'm really glad that I'm able to do this and this truly is money that I can't spend. So let's move over to Spain. And this might be the last time that I'm stuffing it because while I'm out in Spain, it will be the first out there. So I won't be able to do my Patreon cash stuffing out there. So this might be my last stuffing unless I come across any money. So it's the 27th of the 7th, we're adding in 110 euros, which should take it to 450, which I think is actually quite a nice round number. Right, should we count this? This, like if I could describe to you how this feels, they're so crisp, they feel proper fake, and it doesn't feel like it's not plasticky, but it is. It's just weird. So it doesn't feel real. So let's go ahead and count this. So we should be at 450. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 130. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Let's take that back. 120. 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340, 360, 280, 500, 400, 420, 440, 450. Yeah, exactly as I thought. Sorry, uh, the, just the texture and the sound of the money was throwing me off. Isn't that weird? But yeah, 450 for my Spain holiday. Feels super reasonable, but I know that it's 10 days. So I know that I am going to want more money than that. But I know that I can probably budget for it a little bit in advance because of the way I get paid. But yeah, that is very, very good. OK, that truly is the cash stuffing done and dusted. Guys, guys, and on buying pals. Thank you so much for being with me this week. Hi, guys, guys, and non Pirate Pals. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. Since the last video, we have had two new patrons. So I want to say a massive welcome to Debbie Wing and Sophie Hearn. Thank you so much for supporting me over on Patreon. It means an awful lot to me. In today's video, I shared my income for last month. And the fact that it's actually almost as much as what I was earning at the awful supermarket job that I had is absolutely incredible. So that is made up of everything that people support me over on Etsy. Then when people go and support me even further on Patreon, it's incredible. But then just by you watching this video right here, right now, that means so much. And the fact that I got paid like nearly 200 pounds for half a month means that actually it just means a lot. I don't know how to articulate it. So thank you so much. The light is getting worse. So I am going to call it a day on this video. But thank you so much for being here with me. I would like you to have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching, Bestie. Bye bye.